Hello everybody, Deborah here. It's Wednesday and I have a haul because on Wednesdays I go to the 5 and 10 antique market. I'm afraid if I go back next week I will have bought everything that I like and there will be nothing else to buy. But um, before I get into that, I'm trying to grow out my bangs and they're in my face. Okay. Want to give a shout out to Ramona. She's cherished, cherished treasures. And you too. If you haven't seen her video yet, she is the first person to find out that Hobby Lobby was 75% off. What's new at Tuesday morning? What's new at Michael's? And she should go to my Michael's store because I went there yesterday and the shelves are so bare. I don't get it. I don't know what... I don't know. Maybe they're having a going out of business sale like the um, Toys R Us next door. Um, it's a mess. Um, she also goes to Joanne's, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, so anyway, she's having a big giveaway. And of course, the bell rings whenever she does a video, so I knew about it, and I think you should know about it. So if you subscribe to my channel, then you should click on the link. I'm going to post the link below, so you can head over to her channel and click on the bell, so you'll be the first one to know, too, when her videos come out. Um, okay. I went to the antique market, but I went to a couple other places too because um, for two dollars you can get a spray bottle <laughs> at the dollar store. And I need one for um, my tea because there's something wrong with this part. It's stuck. And yeah, I cleaned it out, but it's still stuck. So I had to get another one. And gosh, I ran out of tacky glue. I bought this other stuff and I put it in here, you know, and because I like to use the little bottles. And it was a three in one kind of glue from Michael's. It's awful. Well, it's not awful, awful, but it takes a while to dry. So now I have this one full of it takes a while to dry. So I was using my Fabri Tac <laughs> instead of that. And now I need Fabri Tac. <sighs> $1.97 at Walmart. And then this one's like $0.67. Cents. I'm going to try to make a very small opening so, you know, I can get a fine line. I like using the small ones. I hate trying to squeeze this one to death trying to get something out of it. So, that's me. That's been me since day one. Okay, the big bag. This is only $20, so... I actually finally, if you have seen my other videos, I have actually gone upstairs. Holy cow. It's like it's like going in your family's, your grandparents' attic or great grandparents' attic. I saw stuff up there that reminded me of what I used to do in high school when I used to just draw horses and paint horses on canvas and you know, and I just stood there thinking what happened to all my horse paintings and drawings, you know, that I had? But then when you're 20-some years in the military and every time you move, yeah, you lose a lot of stuff. So, okay. I'm just going off track here. Got some paper because I want to put together a bunch of packets of paper. Um, put it in my Etsy shop, you know, for people who want to do junk journals and, and stuff. And were like me up until I found this place. I had no paper. So. I went back and got some more lace <laughs> in the little green bags. Because I didn't have enough money the last time. So. I try only to spend 20 bucks at a pop, I guess. So. I was looking for some sewing books because that's the next junk journal project, you know. I keep looking at the viewfinder. But I kept finding cookbooks and stuff. So we got this one. This is from the Wherever Company. Oops. The Wherever Company. 
that um, they make the pots and pans. So, so we got some some pretty cool pages, you know, some weird color ink, you know, and I found a cookbook. I should have bought it. It was recipes from Maine. I should have bought it. And it was for a bear steak with some kind of sauce. And I started looking, you know, at the page and it's like, it says, first you need to kill a bear. <laughs> really? I should Oh, I'm going to buy it. I swear I'm going to buy it the next time I go. So it's got all kinds of recipes, you know, and it's... It's old, but it's not all brown. Um, the pages haven't turned color yet. If there was a date on here, I would tell you, but you can tell. Um, didn't she look cute with them glasses? They look like my glasses. Yeah. My glasses were supposed to be put back on the shelf, but I accidentally bought them. So, yeah. I look like somebody's grandmother now, but they're red. Okay, so a 29 cent book about spring and bunnies. The Wonder Books. So, 1954. How cute is this? So we're going to make like a bunch of packets and and this way everybody can have some paper, some old paper. Somebody signed this one, 1963, from somebody's grandmother, August 1963. 1962. So... That was around the time when my parents were probably reading books to me. Maybe I was a few years older. So, anyway, we have some some more cute children's story papers. Okay, and pink and blue crocheted to go on the edges of the junk journal. Ouch, there's the pin. Oh. It's cute. So we're going to use that in the journals. I'm glad that when I went back this week, they still had this stamp. Sometimes you say, if it's there next week, I'm going to buy it. It was there, so I bought it. This would, this would be awesome, right in the center of the page in my junk journal. How do I get this in the bag? This is not, oops, it's a dot, I've got a dot. And this is not adorable. And that's what the back looks like. Look at all the lines and I have to get me a chamois to clean my stamps. Pretty cute. I'm so glad they still had it. And this is what I found when I went upstairs. They had some, I guess you'd call them fat quarters. This is probably about, I think they said three feet. So we have some, some pretty blue with roses on it. And then that one, a little black background, pretty roses. So some of these look kind of old, so that uh, is what I was going for. I saw a little purple peeking out of this one, so I was like, yeah, yeah, we're getting this. It looks like little purple lilacs. So this is about a half a yard. So there you go. There's the cover of... 
yeah, cover of a journal right there. I'm thinking, I'm thinking pillowcases probably look like this, but there's some, some more, some more roses. And it's, you know, I like got some, it's not exactly square, but it's all right. Which you don't use on the cover, you can always use on the inside. Put it on a pocket. So, there we go. Um, oh, before I get off, if you're all still watching, my next project is a nine across, no, nine high by ten across. This is for my daughter-in-law, because she has a lot of pictures of my grandchildren. It doesn't have a square binding here. It, it's like cut right in half. And then I tie vect the heck out of this thing. It's got three, three pieces, one on the inside, one in between the two pieces of chipboard, because this is a double thickness chipboard, and then it's got one on the outside. So this is tie vect glued up. I followed a video from Kathy Orta. I was looking for something for all the grandchildren pictures. And since there's two grandchildren, this is perfect because there is on each side, it folds out on one side, folds out on the other side. So let me move this down here real quick and show you a little something. This is one side, and I'm working on this side right now. So it's pretty much using eight and a half by eleven sheets, and it will set in in the middle of the ten by nine. And it folds out has an envelope that glues, not glue, sorry, an envelope that is stuck on here by magnets, and then magnets will keep this closed also. And then there is a page that flips open, Then this flips open, it's kind of hard to see because it's dark, but there's a pocket here then which has a hinge is two pieces together that folds and then we have another one here which is kind of like the other one they're both the same about half the size of a normal page this one folds out too <laughs> i love this video she did it's from photo folios 2 um number three of six this is what she was doing as a legacy, and you can't buy the papers anymore, but I started watching her video, and I said, this is perfect. One grandchild on one side of the album, and then one on the other. So, as I was watching her, and this part's upside down, um, kind of like the small ones on the top, but... So, then... Those fold open that way, these fold open this way. Um, I still would like, because we're talking grandchildren now, now going in college, so there's a lot of pictures. So I'm thinking maybe on this side here, which I don't have anything right now, which um, could be like pockets, I'm going to do a big waterfall and then maybe a waterfall that flips up but then has its own flip up again so if I can get like six or eight it'll double front and back so that'd be 16 and then each flip will have another flip so I'd be like 32 pictures yeah so that's uh that's why I think I'm gonna do that and then on the other side here for 
for the other grandchild, do like the same too. Um, maybe some places here for photos, leave the top open and then you could stick another picture in behind it. But that is my project right now. So, there you have it. This is what we're up to right now. And we're at the point now we have to pick our pattern paper. So, I think I'm going to go with these because these stacks, which you get 180 in each, you know, um, the paper is a lot thinner. So, it's not going to bulk up. The, the album as much as a 65 pound sheet would. So, got these from Michaels. And while I had dug into this one a little bit, we're just going to start using this one now. So, there you have it. Okay. Um, don't forget to, while I'm trying to move this up, don't forget to go over to Rabona's channel, Cherished Treasures, and uh, tell her Deb sent you. Somebody say Deb sent me. Thank you. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Um, stop by my um, Etsy shop. Send everybody over to my Etsy shop. Say, go visit Deb at her Etsy shop. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash Deb's Crafting Room. And until my next video, see you later.